Yeah. Um, he is one of my favourite bassists of all time. I think he tried out for Metallica that time. He did, yeah. Uh, that's not pointless. No, stop it. Pointless. Stop it. Uh, he obviously wanted to do it because he loves Metallica. Didn't Gene Simmons and I'll try out for Metallica? I doubt it. No. I know Scott Reader from uh, Coyus did. Did he? And uh, he was going to make it onto the thing, but Coyus' music is I can't very don't, baseline. I, don't I like that, but I can't do Coyus either. Again, I was mad into that when it was young fellow. I tried again recently. I tried to listen to that Green Machine song. I was like, this sounds like it was written by fucking 16 you year see, olds. your man hasn't got a great voice. There's just a song Whatever his name right. is, I don't uh, care. Uh, John something. Uh, yeah. the, the idea, Coyus, is not the a idea and the imagery of that band are much better than their actual music. Yeah. I, I, I and a lot of people will go, thanks for Queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. that's really like what that's a lot it. of people prefer. Came yeah. out of, I love Quiz, but your man's voice does kind of great on it's, me every now and then. It's not. It's he's not, not a very strong singer. No. Um, so he plays, he still plays and has most of his life played the very first bass he ever bought. Really? Which is a 1976 Walnut four string piccolo. Weird. Um, he mostly other pl- plays a, you see, I doubt, a lot of these people will play, this is their main instrument, but they're not bringing out the fucking Tokyo and shit. So mm. they'll probably just, maybe, I don't know, maybe probably they will. Probably leaving the house, I don't know. Yeah. So he mostly plays Carl Thompson basses, which mm. I don't really know a whole lot about. Probably some custom guy from his... No, no, CT or... basses, are, a lot of people play them, but um, I don't know. I've no, I, know, I don't know anyone that plays Any, a CT yeah, bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know. It could be, mm. like it could be in a very small American thing, but mm. um, tell us, you tell us bass players, <laughs> you've already, you're already absolutely roaring at us. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. so fucking... Yeah. Uh, that's uh, John the Fisherman from 89. Um, fucking love that album. Absolutely love that album. Uh, sorry, that song. That album's grand. What's that album? Fucking... Uh, they can't all be... Oh, no. Uh, no. That's, uh, oh, it's that's, on that's that. the best album. Yeah, that's the best singers, yeah. Um, So who's your next one? My last one is uh, another Kim Dale band. It's the Pixies. Yeah, Pixies and the yeah. song is The Baser. Yeah. Uh, Great bass line. It's, it's mixed so high as well. Yeah. It, like I think this, this is... This and like Monkey Gone to Heaven were the songs for everyone for the Pixies for so long like people forget that there's loads of Pixie stuff that doesn't necessarily like the bass is probably not even a great example of what they sound like and neither is Monkey no. Gone to Heaven they're so they, they are kind of they are kind of varied my favourite song is Alec Eiffel mm. I love that song it's just, there's, 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 there's a lot of uh, different types of music mixed into that kind of Pixie dust you know and uh, so this is off Do Little from 1989 what an album yeah, exactly. And now, uh, actually, this was put out in 4AD Records, and the guy who designed most of 4AD record stuff, this guy called uh, Vaughn Oliver, who died there. That's right. Uh, yeah. Last week, he died like, yeah. right at the end of December of 2019. Yeah. He died. Jesus, his artwork is incredible. Super, yeah, yeah. It's so 4AD, and it's so 80s and 90s. Yeah. Um, well, apparently, the album was originally, suppo- it wasn't supposed to be called uh, Do Little, it was supposed to be called Horror. And yeah. um, I think he talked him out of it. Yeah. Um, he talked him out of it because I think he, he started work on the cover. And, um, I think the original, the re- originally it was supposed to, be, supposed, to be, supposed to be called Doolittle. Right. But he'd already started work on the cover and had the monkey and all that kind of shit in it. Yeah. And he was like, listen, you're just going to fuck around me now if you call it, call a whore. Yeah. And they went, alright, fuck, it's called Doolittle. Because there's a line in there about fucking yeah. what, what Dr. Doolittle tastes like or some shit. <laughs> I, can't I can't remember. Um, also. But, People want certain places want stock if it's called that. Yeah, there's no point. Just don't. Not listen, that they you, are for. Call, you can true. put mad songs on your album. Just call your album fucking the album two. You know yeah. what I mean? That album four. Whatever fucking whatever it takes to get it out to people. Um, but the Bowser has a super famous baseline. It has. Uh, it's probably it's the ultimate gateway drug. I think for the Pixies. I think Monkey Gone to Heaven. It's a great song. It, which is a great song. I don't think it has. As much pick up in it as as the bass or the bass has. And everyone every, knows where's my mind from Fui Club. Yeah, exactly. And but where's my mind? It's not even. It's grand. It's a good song. It's do you know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of um, fucking how soon is now, but it's Smith. Yeah, it's too Brilliant. slow. It doesn't, plod, it's it doesn't plod, represent them no, at all. No, at all. The bass art is well. It's not like everything else. It's closer. Oh, no, it is. It's probably a mean average of yeah. the Pixie songs. So it's it's a, it's a perfect ent- entry kind of gateway drug for for the Pixies. Yeah. It's uh, so Kim Deal, as we said earlier, uh, was the bassist in the Pixies, but the guitarist in the Breeders. Playing on our sister's bass. Yeah, she exactly. Pretty. So she played on this. Um, I did check that just to make sure they didn't get somebody else in. To be but fair, like right, it probably wouldn't have been that annoying for a sister because the Pixies weren't big. Really, they weren't really <coughs> not that really. Big. Well, the, the the sister came back into the sister was in Breeders for a while, and then she had to go to rehab. So the band kind of kind of went on pause but I think they recorded an album without her and then she came back 
Yeah. And then I think maybe three or four years ago, they done a reunion gig where they got all the original crew from Pod from the first album, or as many of them as they could get. Yeah. So they, they kind of got it back together again with her, with Kim and her sister, oh. um, back together again. So they... they, they Go on, the lads. It's, yeah, exactly. Well, listen, that's Pixie's debate, so I don't want to talk too much about it. Just fucking... You know it already, even if you don't recognise the name. Mm-hmm. You've heard it before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know it. It's just a fucking... One of those savage fucking late 80s, early 90s indie songs that was everywhere for a long time. Yeah. It's 1989, which I, for some reason I always think... I always think the song is the early 90s, but it's, it's fucking... A lot of these are 80s. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, poor old uh, Vaughn Oliver, poor one out for fucking poor one out home slice. Um, that is all of mine. Who is your last one? My last one is I had to pick Rush. Yeah, YYZ from 1981. People go, not YYZ, it's YYZ. That's the way you're supposed to say it. Right? YYZ. Yeah, because they're Canadian, they're not American. That's right. Uh, this YYZ is the uh. It's the the shortened version of an, an airport, Toronto International Airport, I think. Okay. I believe. So th- they uh, got the idea for the ba- the intro for this, I think, from um, Morse code on a plane while they were being uh, piloted some piloted somewhere. Piloted. Floyd. Floyd. Floyd somewhere. Oh, yeah. Stop. Neither of us have fucking. Not, January is not w- woken up yet. No. It's too early in the year. Wake me up when January ends. <laughs> Wake That's me other up. Green Day song. When World um, War Three starts. This I I can I I dip in and out rush. I can't stick with them. I couldn't be a fucking rush fan. They do me fucking head in. They're great. The exact time. They're great. But uh, like this, the reason I picked this is because this has three sections. This song. So the fourth section sounds like honestly the blueprint from a sugar. It has that. Te- it's ten a. Yeah. The timing is ten a. What? Yeah. And it's like, dun, 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 dun. if you heft it up, that's my sugar. Or Opeth. Yeah. And any I, any kind of modernish prog metal yeah. bands, yeah. And I know that, that Rushed aren't even really the ones that would be the first people to start. That. I'd say they, I, 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 I'd guarantee they took a lot of influence from Yes. Because Yes were doing it 10 years yeah. before that. Yeah. If not more. Yes. But not as, not as modern and cool as Rush were doing it, you yeah. know what I mean? So, Rush were OTT. Rush were like the fucking kiss of prog. Yeah. So like they had like the big yeah. stage shows and they were over the top. Like yeah. So get yeah. So Geddy Lee is the singer and songwriter and bass player. It's very rare to see a la Primus. A la Primus. Yeah. The bass player being like the Lemmy from Motorhead is another one that yeah. didn't make it onto this because I don't. Ace of Spades is a grand bass line. Yeah, it will probably come up in volume two. One of us will. Stage, yeah. One of us will probably pick it, but. To put to put that over Rush YYZ for me would be a little bit. Yeah, like I said, it starts off like Meshuggah, then it goes into just this basal jam session yeah. fucking thing. Which, if it started off like that, I would hate it. Yeah, but it doesn't. It starts off with that weird fucking intro, and then there's a bit later on in the song where he just starts playing the most basic thing and lets the synths let them take fly off. around. Yeah, yeah. yeah synths and uh, drums and stuff like that. It's a great fucking song. I really do. He plays uh, 1972 Black Fender Jazz. Really? Jazz, yeah. I prefer... I, like I said, I've never really played a jazz that much. It's ja- Most people play a jazz or a P-bass. Yeah, I, 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 obviously different fucking pickups, different body shape. And then you've got your fucking weird little... A lot of, a lot of the jazz basses have that uh, big metal clip that goes over the back oh, of the yeah, strings yeah. as What's well. What's that for? I couldn't tell you. Bassist... Tell us what that you. fucking... Because it's not for, it's not for resting your thumb on, because they have a thumb rest already. Um, I don't it's know what the big... for clip. slapping. Is it for slapping? It could be where your, where your palm goes, but yeah. your palm is there for, for slapping and muting at the same time. I don't know. Yeah. I, I have no idea. Maybe it's to stop uh, gremlins getting in it could dust. It could be. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, but it's open. I don't understand. I've been looking at them my whole life, and I don't know what it does. <laughs> Basis, please tell us what that big metal shell thing is on the yeah. back. Because there was loads of old guitar guitars that had those as well. Um, that came up out of the the bridge, um, came up out of the bridge that covered a big section of the guitar as well. Maybe you could use it as a fucking no, because it's set into the body, so you couldn't like use it as a tremolo. I don't know. It's sort of punching you. when you get angry. It could be just a lump of metal for fucking digging it, raking on people in the yeah. audience that are annoying you. Could be, or it could be just a bit of a sandwich held in there. It's not be good as well. It stops that. Do you ever like whatever for whatever reason the guitar flips up or you're pulling it and up bottom bit gets caught on your jumper yeah on a guitar <coughs> yeah or a bass this would yeah. stop that from happening save your jumper more than likely save your jumper if yeah. you happen so to flip around that's your it's own official way. name the jumper saver <laughs> right i think we've annoyed bassists enough okay. now i think we've annoyed them enough now yeah. that's a uh, yyz i absolutely love it it's fucking great i 
I'm not even a mad Rush fan. I'm not even. I'm not even a mad. I wouldn't listen to that song every day. No, but whenever I think of like Deadly Basslines, I think of that song. That's so, up there. You have that's, to Rush must be mentioned. Like. That's yeah. That's our uh, basslines. We've yeah. we've annoyed you enough bass basses and we have bored. Uh, wait, 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 we we get definitely the, bored guitarists. Wait till we get the drums. Oh Jesus! That's that's fucking Jesus yeah. Christ! There's our first instrument specific <laughs> uh, podcast and our first one of 2020. <laughs> may, what a year! May God have so far. mercy. Yeah, it's like it's a couple of hours old or something. And the like world that. is about to burn. I can't wait. It's already on fire in Australia and now we're trying to make the more continents catch fire with war now yeah I'm fucking I'm sadder about the poor animals in Australia than I am about fucking any Iranian or American that's going to be fucking killed I'm real uh, I feel real bad right. I don't know they about. get a hard time Iranians yeah they do was New York Sheik from Iran I'm with him was he actually though uh, yeah he could he have was. been from fucking. No, he was. Yeah. He could have been from Delaware. He was, and Vince yeah. McMahon goes, "You're from Iran." No, I think he is Not actually Iranian. Iranian. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So that's it. So uh, as always, the bit that we end the podcast with is: if you like us, you can support us by going to patreon.com forward slash Lost Art Podcast. It's less than five euro a month. It's five dollars a month. I am um, so. I don't know whether war will make that go up or down. Hopefully down, you get a uh, better bang for your book. Uh, well, we won't tell you. We'll just keep it at that. Well, that's it. It's all, listen, we don't have uh, tiers. Everything is, is $5 a month. Um, and that gives you access to all the podcasts that we put up there, all the videos that we put Including up there. Including the best one. The best one we've ever done. Um, the TV themes one, which is outrageous. The reason that we put it on Patreon is because mainly people on pa- Patreon had been asking us to do the specific TV, TV themes, themes yeah, one. So yeah. it felt fair to give that to them. Yeah, well, maybe what we'll do is we'll do... Uh, uh, in a couple of months we'll do TV themes volume 2 and we'll put that out to uh, to the general public and if you like that one then you'll have to go back and pay us to listen to the first one uh, paywall paywall disgusting welcome to the fucking well, future well welcome to the world because we have to pay for hosting stuff. exactly uh, if you don't want to pay a couple of quid just go on to Facebook share it fucking uh, share it a post uh, by us rate review us on iTunes on your Stitchers on your if you're not, Podbean if you're not your, mad into podcasts well, first of all, it'd be weird if you're listening to this, but if you happen to just stick, just send it to one of your mates who's a bassist or whatever. Exactly. Whatever. Just exactly. Whatever. You know anybody who's mad into instruments, send them onto this and uh, they can get onto us and annoy us. So uh, thanks very much. We'll be back again next week. <laughs>